Hello everyone, welcome to my newest video. Uh, I just, uh, literally this minute, I received this box from the postman and I am really excited about this. It's my uh, newest model and let's see what's in it. I already cracked the box so it's gonna be easier to open it. Let's see, let's see, I'm so excited about this. It's the first, uh, first time I'm gonna see what's in it. Let's see. Look at this. Kimi Raikkonen's MP420 from 2005, and this is the Monaco Vinny, the special limited edition, 5,544 pieces being ever made. That's beautiful. Yeah, Kimi Raikkonen is one of my favorite drivers of all time, so. Yeah, I clearly remember that race just like it was yesterday, Monaco Grand Prix 2005, one of the the best ones in that year, well, in my opinion, obviously, as a Raikkonen fan. Let's open it. Here we go. Look at this, shiny. Pretty nice quality, considering it's used. It is absolutely spotless. I am very happy to see that. There's always a bit of a risk when you're buying a used model. But this one is just... As I see, it's just perfect. Yeah. No faults, no broken parts. And obviously the special helmet. Because in 2005 Kimi had a different helmet, there was a blue stripe on it and a bit of red by the top and this one was specially made for Monaco Grand Prix, so this is a really nice model to add to my collection. This is also my first model from the year 2005, obviously apart from the, the big one but that's a 118. So yeah, they are they're both from 2005, big rivals, these two, and you can see the difference between the, between the 118 and the 143, yeah, very good, very good, so happy to have this now, uh, this, this is one of the models that I, I really, really wanted badly. Yeah, you can, you can also see how, how different these cars were. At that time, obviously, Mini Champs quality has improved since 2005, but but they were already pretty good. And if you see the front wings, it's like no additional winglets. It's just just literally that 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 is it. It was it, it was looking good. I think it, it looked nice. If you see Fernando Alonso's Renault. Yeah, so the front wing was pretty similar. Also on the back wing, there's no additional stuff. It's just, it's just that that that's it really. They they were a lot more simple. Yeah, that's why it was it was easier to to follow each other at those times. And obviously that was the the last year. I think that was the last year when they used the V10 engines, which they they sounded amazing. They were pretty fast as well. Yeah, so this this one is my uh, very short, very quick review of this car. And uh, yeah, this guy's got Michelin tires. That that is my first model, which they came with Michelin tires. Uh, you will shortly see a video about. Uh, about a diorama which I am planning to make with these bad boys here in the background which I managed to pick up from the local model shop but that's gonna be a, a different review that's gonna be a different video yeah cause the, the, that one's got a Michelin tire in it and, and I was scratching my head how I am going to make uh, a diorama because this is a West McLaren team and uh, and yeah, I needed something with Michelin tires, and this one is perfectly matching now. Because my only best McLaren is this one from 99, Mika Hekinen. So I had two options, I either swap the tires 
uh, the tire in the in the hand of the mechanic there or I pick up a model with Michelin tires so I'm still not sure that I am going to use this car for the for the diorama because uh, I don't know if I want to touch this at all it's just spotless I love this yeah well anyway thanks for watching that was my uh, newest video uh, if you haven't subscribed yet just click the button below and um, thank you for watching see you later guys